Hello, I'm Dr. Ho Inshi. Today, I'm going to talk about how 3D printers are actually used clinically in a dental clinic. Contents. I'm going to talk about 3D printers, five usages with a case, how to use a 3D printer to print an implant guide, a temporary and a recording base, a temporary denture and an individual tray. This is the first patient. The patient has very severe period disease and carriers. If you look at the lateral photo, the oral condition is very poor and many of the remaining teeth need to be extracted. Implants or denture are required. If you look at the panorama image, all the teeth in the upper jaw need to be extracted in the mandible. Remaining teeth except premolars need to be extracted. City of maxilla. There's no teeth that can be saved. City of mandible. The remaining bone is rather abundant relatively. Premolars will be saved and implants will be placed in the remaining teeth regions. Immediate implant placement after extraction is the plan. The first 3D printer's usage is to print an implant guide. The patient had so many teeth to be extracted. For the stability of a guide, we fabricated two guides. One is for the lower anterior and the right molars. The guide is designed and fabricated like this. And separately, a guide for lower left premolars was designed like this. We decided to come up with this idea to make the stable guys. Like this, two guys were printed before surgery, before extraction. At the same time, temporaries were designed using the dental system to be delivered right after placing the implants. The left, anterior, and right parts are all designed and printed in advance. This is before extraction. Like this, many teeth were extracted. After extracting lower anterior teeth and canines, in the lateral incisor position, two MS implants, and in the canine area, TS implants were placed to deliver a temporary. Abutments were connected immediately. Bone was grafted in the remaining area of the extraction socket. It is sutured like this. In the first and second molar area, in the right mandible, implants were placed flapless like this, and abutments were connected. The left molars were extracted like this, and an implant was placed, but the extraction socket gap was quite large. Primary stability was not certain, so bone grafting was done, and the temporary tooth was not connected. It is sutured. Temporary teeth were printed in advance before surgery. The anterior teeth and the right temporary crowns were completed like this. The third 3D printer's usage is to fabricate a recording base. Before extraction, this situation is made into a model. On the model, the teeth were removed. Temporary denture will be delivered right after extraction. Like this, the base was made. As such, the base was printed for a recording base. If the thickness is too thin, there are areas that are not printed properly, but it's not a problem to be used as a recording base. Ready-made wax rim is mounted and it is 
inserted into the mouth of a patient, the occlusal relations was acquired, and the acquired relations will be scanned using a model scanner like this. It is mounted on the model scanner just like snowboarding on the field of snow. It is moving side to side as it is being scanned. When many teeth remain and for a fixed prosthesis, intraoral scanner is good enough to make a prosthesis in a modelless way. However, like this, when a denture or full mouth restoration is required, model scanner is much more efficient than using an intraoral scanner. Recording base is used to acquire occlusal relations. The next step is fabricating a temporary denture. After setting the boundary on the denture base, the teeth are aligned, and the denture base and teeth are connected. Lastly, the overjet overbite need to be checked. Occlusal relations need to be checked. Next, the final positions are designed. Then, 3D printing will be the next step. The supporters need to be attached to the inside of the denture, not on the teeth. When we fabricate a temporary denture, the teeth of the denture and denture base can be printed separately and attached later. The denture base uses the pink resin. And the teeth are made with the tooth color resin and they are printed and attached but printing the denture base and teeth together is the preferred method like this supporters are attached to the inside of the denture base and once the denture is printed all the supporters need to be removed anyway the inside of the denture needs to be rebased because during the rich healing period, changes are occurring, so accurate fitting of the inside of the denture base may not be necessary. After the adjustment of the inside, gingiva coloring should be done. Using flowable resin, the gingiva color can be made. What you're seeing is using a different flipper, so for gingiva coloring resin is used and it is cured and now you can see the gingiva part the inside of the denture base is rebased so that it can fit in the oral situation of the patient and here you can see the rest of the gingiva is colored with flowable resin after temporary denture is completed, it is moved into the mouth of the patient to check the function. After about three months, it is time to take impression for the final prosthesis. The abutments and the healing abutments that have been used are removed and skin bodies are connected. And the skin is acquired using the three shape dental system program the abutments and the final prosthesis are designed in a modelless way at the same time left right and the posterior prosthesis are designed so posterior prosthesis is designed first in this case a temporary denture is used in the upper jaw, so PMMA milling is not really required for accurate occlusion. So the abutments and the final prosthesis were fabricated at the same time. The individual abutments were mounted first before the final prosthesis was delivered. In the anterior region, after posterior prosthesis is completed, the anterior part is fabricated separately. The temporary denture that had been used was removed. Ready-made abutments were removed and scan bodies were connected to acquire the scan. 
canines, interior teeth, and custom abutments were designed. And the custom abutments were mounted before mounting the final prosthesis. In the lower left the premolar area, carious is quite severe. So, and the treatment was done. Likewise, we did the model's final prosthesis design, and the final prosthesis was completed. At last, it's time to fabricate the final denture for maxilla. For this, the dentulous healed model is scanned using a model scanner. After setting the area like this, the individual tray is designed for final impression taking. The handle and finger stops are mounted. This is the completed design. The access rubber impression materials can go out through the holes, and it is brought into the 3D printing program, and supporters are attached. Finally, the individual tray is printed. The supporters are removed, and this is the completed individual tray. After border molding, cement is applied inside, and the final impression is taken. A recording base for final denture is completed. In the mouth, occlusal relations is acquired. Based on that, teeth are aligned. And this is the process of completing the final denture. In this one patient, I've shown you how to use the 3D printer in various areas. You can fabricate a guide, a temporary crown, a recording base, temporary denture, and in the final stage, individual tray for final impression taking for the final denture. Conclusion First, if you use a 3D printer, what are the advantages? First, you can save a lot of time going back and forth. The lab work should go back and forth. That time can be saved. So we can deliver the prosthesis that the patient wants in a very short time, reducing the toothless period for the patient. Most of all, treatment predictability will be increased. Lastly, let us summarize about the 3D printers. The 3D printers can be widely used to fabricate an implant surgical guide, temporary teeth, flippers, and individual impression tray. Also, a recording base. It can be very useful. Also, temporary denture can be fabricated before moving on to the final denture. It can also be used to fabricate the ortho jigs in a model for clear appliances. It can come in very handy and useful, and it is an essential digital equipment. When do we need to use an intraoral scanner and when a motor scanner? That's the question. For most fixed prosthesis, modelless, final prosthesis, customized abutments can be fabricated using the intraoral scanners. However, for full mouth prosthesis or when you need to fabricate a denture. You can use, of course, the intraoral scanners. However, relatively, compared to the model scanners, intraoral scanner can be cumbersome and difficult. So if you use both of them, all such processes can be simplified and done very easily. If you just have an intraoral scanner, 
The denture-related work can be given to the lab. And if you have a model scanner, that can be done in the clinic simply. The second question, what do I need to prepare to use a 3D printer in various clinical areas? As I shown you just before, in that case, to fabricate a temporary teeth denture, temporary denture in recording base, or an individual tray, you need to have a designing program. So if you have a design program for an intraoral scanner and a model scanner, all those can be done very easily, but if you do not have the device and you have only the 3D printer, you need to ask a lab to do the design for you, and you can print out the design yourself. So this is all I have prepared. If you are afraid of using a 3D printer, I hope this helps you to overcome that fear. In two weeks' time, I'm going to talk about the three-shaped dental system to design prosthesis. Thank you for your attention.